Marhaba ya shabab, ahlan wa sahlan. So, now it, now we are coming to the most impo- important part, unit testing. So, as I said in the previous video, we will do in this video some setup things. But, yeah, just let us firstly create the task repository test class. Open your task repository implementation, option enter, and you can just say create test. And I'm sorry, I'm just already taban, and a taban, it means I'm, I'm already a little bit tired. So just click here on OK. I would suggest the next window, what's coming up, just make it bigger he says unit test yes here in this because the other one is for ui tests error tests are ui tests so and you should do this okay nice that's great i mean if you click on this bold size symbol here you see the test class generated example test it's we delete it but now comes the setup part. The setup part. Now create a new file. Call it file reader. Make it a file. So what we are going to do is we just copy stuff. Um, because I also copied this thing here and yeah. Uh, yes, 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 and yeah, this is basically, it's a file reader, we will give, just to let you know, we will just give this file reader um, 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 the mock JSON responses and it will read it for us, the JSON, what, what we're passing in. You will see it in a second, and if you're more curious about it I'm on my media where it is it should be part eight yeah and we have part 22 and we're exactly with part eight on medium yes and here i have it a little bit more described and yeah well let us continue this will just read our json files next thing we need a base repository test class so uh, based repository test okay i will also copy the code and then i will explain it to you so let's copy all of this from here and paste it in here okay then i can elaborate a little bit on this so as you can see we have a mock web server this is an instance of um, the mock web server is from yeah it's a, it's from okhttp3 it's a mock web server like we will give um some predefined json responses and it will here it, it will give us a predefined json response basically and yeah we start the server we have to start the server it will start on and set up on port 8080 and here we will all set the mock annotations mock k annotations as you can see we are using mock k not mockito and after each test we shut down the server and yeah the get data class method reads a json file using the file reader class we have which we defined here as you can remember uh-huh 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 can get rid of this line break uh-huh uh, wait where am i and yeah the file reader class converts it to an object of a specified type basically just we are uh, we're using generics so it's not a specified type yet. And with JSON, we, we 
we create a new file from the JSON. And so with JSON, we just create from the JSON, JSON response a Kotlin file. And yeah, the get JSON string method reads the JSON file using the file reader class and returns its content as a string. Uh, here we have the file reader and read the content. It will give us a string. So, okay, so that you know this. And uh, yes. Uh, next, we has, ha have to set some test coroutine rules because coroutine, uh, coroutines have to be also adjusted for tests. And uh, yes. Uh, one more class on the same hierarchy. This will be test coroutine rule. Uh, let's copy and paste this as well. Because we have to, as I said, adjust the uh, coroutine C as well. Okay. So, test coroutine dispatcher. I mean, we ha we need to use a dispatcher, like, you know, like an IO dispatcher or main dispatcher for the main thread. And uh, here we need to use the unconfined test dispatcher. Uh, and yeah, this is our dispatcher. Like in a real implementation, we need to use may, uh, IO, main, or uh, the other dispatchers which are available from coroutine then here we bound the the dispatcher to the scope to the test coroutine scope and yes then what we are doing is th here the apply method is overridden to provide a custom statement that defines how to handle coroutines during testing before the test runs it sets the main dispatcher to the test dispatcher to ensure that coroutines run in a controlled way. After the test, it resets the main dispatcher and executes all remaining tasks in the test scope. I mean, I also got this from the internet, so, <laughs> so I, don't, I didn't come up with it on my own. And this test here, uh, this method, which allows tests to run suspend functions and ensure all coroutines within a test method complete before the method itself returns. That's what is happening here. And that's basically it. Just, I got it from the internet. Uh, I think some of you will also find it anywhere. And uh, now the next thing we have to set the mock JSON responses and requests. Change your view from Android to project. So, and then you should go to app, source, test, unit test, looks good. And on test, we say we want a new directory, select resources, say enter. Now we got this. And now we can add some JSON files in here. Just okay. Wait a second. Repository password editor. Uh, let me just check, 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 check. Where the heck are they? Just resources okay now i found them okay just add them one by one as you can see i have some predefined um, json files this will be used by our mock server like here where is it where is it there it is to, f to read a file and yeah 
these are the files we're using now. Just say new file. Copy this. Okay, looks good. Next file. This is a list of uh, responses. Uh, so. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, because of the Arabic, it, it got a little bit confused, the ID, because of the Arabic letters. Post request, this is the last one. But first we need the name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we got it. Okay, okay. Now we got everything set up. We have our... Okay. Because of the Arabic, it doesn't realize it, what is going on here, but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, but it will still work. I'm pretty sure about this. So we have set up here our resources. For our mock web server, this will be all the requests which we are sending. Like this is the patch request, this is the post request. Um, for delete, we don't need anything. And here the responses, a list of responses for all tasks and uh, get a specific task by ID. And that's basically it. I would say we have done everything for the setup. And next thing, what we are going to do, we can start the implementation of the test class. So, see you in the next video. Write me some nice comments, like, subscribe, you know the drill. See you soon. Ilalikaya, shabab.